Now we're still in edit mode. We can go out of edit mode now. Click. Deselect that. Click down here. Add a new plane. Delete two of the vertices again. Select these vertices and scale them up. This line is supposed to be a little shorter than the other. Now, sorry if you can't see it. My my re recording screen automatically pans with my mouse, but it's supposed to be a little shorter than the other one. Now, back into the editing panel. Click subdivide until it also has a lot of points on it, a lot of vertices. Now, back into the um, shading panel or the materials. Add a new material and make this whatever color you want your lightsaber to be. Now, because I've got a double lightsaber here, oh, I forgot to tell you. If you want to make a single lightsaber, just make the grip not so symmetrical and don't put a hole on each side, just on one side. I've got double lightsaber here and I want to make the evil lightsaber that you already saw at the beginning. The red lightsaber, so I'm going to put drag the red slider to the top and all both of the others down. So my color is red. Now I click on halo. The halo size is going to put point 0.6. The hardness to 117 and add to well not all one just 9.5 yeah 9.5 should work okay now we can drag this line on top of the other one Hold on, one, one thing we'll do before that is we can duplicate go out of edit mode with tab and shift D to duplicate it so we're going to stick one of the short one over here first and then right click on the other one, shift D, duplicate that one too and stick it over here, not on top of it. Now this one, we're just going to move them on top of each other, go into box, select select both of them and move them down into the lightsaber grip and over so it just sticks in there with one side. Now move this one on top of the other one just use box select to select both and move it in there. Now if we go press zero to look at our camera, we we'll already see that something's happening here. Now we're just gonna click A to select all, then shift damn it. Shift uh, right mouse click on the camera and then also on the light to remove those from the selection so we now have got only our lightsaber grip and the two lightsaber beams left press S to scale them down and just make them small so they fit in the camera now scale in, uh, zoom in we can move this around a little now let's move it up scale it a little up scale up a little move it over The what is rendered is in this um, Line in this box with this line, not the small one and not the big one, it's in the middle one. So if the whole lightsaber is in there, it's fine. Now we can use a preview render by just clicking F12 and seeing that our lightsaber already looks pretty cool. Now the white maybe moved in here a little farther, press escape. Um, A, the white one, the other one, this one. No, that's the red one, this is the white one move in there a little farther that's it you might not have to do that click on the lightsaber grip now we're going to add a material to that as well go into mirror here ray mirror and turn this up quite a bit so it'll look like a silver material the fresnel maybe a bit but to actually see reflection we're going to have to need something to reflect on so I'm going to create plane space add mesh plane uh, scale but with the S key and just type a hundred to make it quite large I'll go back into the camera view go out of edit mode for the plane and now if we render this we should see a nice reflection on our grip to make it look silver or like silver like metal like metal not silver and you can see that you can always also see a shadow on the plane and if you want you can play around with this a little as I already said make your grip look a little more realistic animate it if you want make a really cool looking thing 
or just play with the render settings, play with your lighting, whatever you want. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.